Hello, Belmont. This week, we are invited to consider all the different ways we embody our spirituality. I want to share with you three prayer practices, and the first will be using our breath as a prayer, and then movement as prayer, and then blessing as prayer. Our psalm for this week is Psalm 63, verses 1 through 8, and this psalmist writes, from their heart about longing, about gratitude, and about blessing. And so beginning with a breath prayer, we will focus on longing and what we are longing for. And so as you, with your feet on the floor, spending some time to notice how you are supported, noticing your inhale and your exhale, and let this verse Breathe in and breathe out. My whole being thirsts for you. My whole being thirsts for you. And as you repeat this breath prayer, be attentive to the feeling of longing. What might this God-given longing be prompting you to do? And then, for our movement as prayer, the psalmist writes, I will lift up my hands in your name. I am fully satisfied. So consider a time when you felt fully satisfied, maybe after a delicious meal with good friends or after you accomplished something you had worked really hard to do. Remember the sign of joy and delight on the face of someone you love and how that feels. And as you are feeling that joy and delight, that satisfaction, just notice what is it your body wants to do. You may want to lift your hands in praise to God. You may want to put your hands on your heart. Just as you allow yourself to feel that satisfaction, let your body do what your body wants to do in praise to God. And then for our blessing prayer, um, the psalmist writes, your faithful love is better than life itself. The psalmist invites us to remember God's faithful love for us. And knowing how much we are loved by God and that there is nothing that can separate us from God's love. Feel that kind of upwelling of blessing. It's like, oh my goodness, I'm so loved by God. And from this place, um, either go for a walk or sit at a window, being attentive to the ways that you, that God's blessings are being revealed to you. This might be through seeing the daffodils that are blooming, seeing a bird land on the branch of a tree, noticing a squirrel, do something kind of nutty. Um, and as you are reminded of all the ways that you are blessed and the wonder of this world that we live in, um, someone may walk by, hold them in prayer. Someone may come to your mind and hold, offer them up to God in prayer. And as we remember how much we are loved by God, our eyes are more in focus to see blessings, our ears to hear blessings, and our bodies to receive blessing. So this week, as you focus on embodying your spirituality, may you experience the deep love that God has for you.